So how old is she? She's five. She's five. Just turned five. Just turned five. Yep. Well, she doesn't walk terribly. She, so like this, she's okay. okay. So if it's just me and her, she's mm -hmm. all right. People without sounding like... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Especially men as well. Um, Alex, can you just come walk towards me, mate? Thank you. <laughs> Good girl. You got kind. Of, she's kind of got a little bit stuck. Like, doesn't really know what to do, and she gets herself a little bit worked up. She's very typical Pomeranian, spinning, spinning, spinning. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, they are, they are a bit yappy anyway, yeah. I'm conscious of that. Um, yeah. But I just kind of feel like at the moment, I, I feel like she's not like having a, a great time because she can't go out yeah. normally, you know, you've kind of got to walk when everyone else is in bed. Phoebe, can you just bring a dog out? <laughs> Yeah, so it's at this stage she's not actually barking at anything. Good girl. It's like pop the dog away a minute. You hear her, it's like even after the dog's gone it like continues. Sure does it, yeah. She food motivated at all. She's better than she was, so I changed her feeding. So she will now take sort of very small treats when we're walking. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think I'm doing it properly. I'll just take her for a second. Because I kind of try and reinforce good behaviour, but it's quite hard because she barks all the time. So it's hard to <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I had another I had another trainer, she was lovely, mm -hmm. but it just didn't quite make any sense you know when you're like okay i get the positive reinforcement and all of that but she um just gonna pop this over your head there we go Good it's so hit and miss with her that it's, it's difficult to do it with the food is there a normal lead she's very praise orientated does that make any yes. sense like no, she likes There's having a, a fuss made of her and all of that You've been such a good girl. Thank you. <laughs> Is me walking along just distracting uh, her? Just, just stay where you are for a second. Phoebe, can you bring your dog out again? <laughs> You're fun. That's it. Pop, 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 You're nuts. You're absolutely nuts. I like you. Can I make one of these small enough for you? Where's the remotes? Have you tried a vibrate collar with her? Yeah, so I've used one in the house because she's reactive to the front door. Yeah. Um, so it's not a vibrating one, actually. The one I use has got like a lemon spray in it. Okay. So you. So it doesn't it, vibrate. It doesn't vibrate. Um, uh, it does a spritz. Yep. And that stops her. Cool. In the house, but I didn't, I haven't used it on a walk because I kind of didn't. No, want to I would kind of like you to stop using that one in confused. general because it's very harsh. Okay. 
Uh, the dog's most sensitive part of their body is their nose, yeah. and anything citronellary actually creates a lot of mega discomfort yeah. to them, and it stays there long after the fact. So even yeah. after she, you're using it to correct the barking, but it's still affecting her long after the barking stopped. Whereas something like a vibrate, it may or may not work. Yeah. Yeah. But something like this, if you just feel it. Yeah. As soon as I stop, it stops. And you think so, that will yeah. have an effect well, on we'll, that? Well, we'll find out. Like <laughs> I said, she, she's quite, for a little dog, she's quite intense. So <laughs> a lot of dog training is trying to narrow, trying to find out what works best for her. Yeah. And the next part is trying to make this small enough for her. Take three. Okay. Phoebe. So natural response the first time they feel vibrate is to jump up and down like they've been electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't it's want to say that, that word because a lot of people mistake electric shock it's not collars. A shock if, collar, no. Yeah, no, it's to vibrate how you felt. Yeah. That that's its only function. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Pop dog back, Phoebe. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. This like literally has to get the last word. Mm -hmm. That was better. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing is that even if you remove whatever's offending her, she will continue yeah. to have a go. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. So I just want to see what you actually do for a second. So the true her is actually terrified of dogs. Yeah. You get brave as you walk away. <laughs> yeah. Small dog syndrome. Because when you actually put her there, she doesn't do anything. She just shits herself. Yeah. She just wants to get away from Yeah. Her. Right now, what I'm doing is just bringing her in, letting her get some exposure, and then bringing her out, bringing her in, letting her get some exposure, then bringing her out. Yeah. Go on, darling. Ah! Uh -uh. What would you do if I let him out? Okay. Come in. Just waiting for her to stop barking and right. then I take her out. I don't want to take her out when she's barking because then she learns that if I keep reacting, yeah. that's what... Because reactivity works really well for her. She barks and either that thing disappears and she goes, great, that's what I'm going to do every time I get it's uncomfortable or you take her away yeah. every time she does that to shut her up. So barking has won many battles for her. Mm. I'm just trying to show her that there's a dog. If you stop, we go away. So actually, it's a little bit of reverse psychology for her. Stop reacting to the thing that makes you uncomfortable and then we'll go yeah. away. So she has to actually relax a little bit yeah. in order to leave that situation. She's going, yeah. so we'll take her back in a little bit. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. 
You see, it's getting quicker and quicker. Yeah. She's not comfortable. She's not happy. But again, she's not happy around dogs, period. No. She's yeah. never, I don't, but the I don't second she sees a dog, happy. whether she's this close or freaking 100 feet away, she still goes absolutely batshit crazy. Mm. Come on. Come on in. So that time, nothing. Nothing, no. So she's getting just used to it. Look, all, all I want her to do is just come in the presence of dogs. Yeah. I don't want you to say hello to dogs. Let's go. No, I don't expect to ever take her to a look. dog park and let her off the lead. I just right. want to be able to take her out for a walk and her ignore dogs. Does that make sense? Yeah. What do you know? Can I do paw? Can you do paw? She won't do paw. She'll, she'll sit and she'll lie. Can you lay down? <laughs> Go on, lay down. That would be awesome if you did. Lay down. When you spend in the floor. That's good though. It's the first time she's used her nose since she's been in here. Give me a Give This way. <laughs> come this way. That's it. And come this way. Ah, oh, check you out. Check you out. <laughs> oh. She looks so happy with herself. Yeah. Hey, Down. I don't want her to be stressed, that's the thing. Yeah. I, I don't want to constantly have her in a situation where she is really, really stressed. Yeah. My concern is the slip lead that she's on because she's quite happy to pull into that. She's quite happy to she'll, pull into yeah, that and she's quite happy to herself. choke it. I mean, she, she's very well proportioned for a Pomeranian, so she doesn't seem to have any breathing difficulties, which is going in your favour, because yeah. if she had a sort of softer palate or a shorter snout, in a sense, then she'd be getting herself in trouble. What do you know about micro prongs? Never heard of them. Never heard of them. <laughs> have you heard like about a prong? No, it sounds like some form of taser. Oh, no, it's the exact opposite to a taser. It's a little tiny collar. Oh, OK. So they come in different shapes and sizes. That's the micro. That's the smallest of the prongs. And this is a bigger one. Right. So I'll be the first to admit they look gnarly. Yeah? I will. And oh, Foxy. And everybody that looks at them does the same thing. They look at it like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah? Now, obviously, the bigger it is, the more it looks gnarly. This is obviously for a German Shepherd type dog. Mm. So it's much bigger. But these aren't designed to puncture, they're not designed to cut, they're not designed to choke or anything like that. What the difference between this and the slip, and I'll show you, is is there a slip lead up there? Yeah, so with a slip lead, right, when you pull it, it tightens all the way around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you pull it tight enough, you can cut off the blood supply to the dog so it can't breathe. Yeah. That's how it's working. Yeah. Yeah. So when she pulls straight into it, that tightens all the way around and she can't breathe. That's why sometimes when she's reacting, you might hear it yeah. like that. But she's quite happy to do that. Mm. Yeah. Now, the reality is you can pick these up in like nearly any pet shop. Yeah. They're a slip lead, and they're a very good tool, and yeah. we use them a lot. Uh, but they're not for every dog. Some no. dogs, they don't necessarily work very well with. Some dogs, even if you take the time to teach them, she walks really, really nicely. But some dogs are quite happy to kind of choke yeah. themselves out, and that's what she's kind of doing. And that's yeah. the difference. When, with a slip lead, when you pull it, it tightens all the way around. It does distribute that pressure evenly, but it tightens all the way around. A micro prong doesn't choke so it's got an o-ring there okay. which stops it from tightening yeah so you don't get any of that gasping for air or things like that it works similar on the basis that you it applies distributes the pressure but it does it in more of a bite okay so you pull it and what it does is it creates that bite all the way around so full disclosure it creates discomfort yeah but so does that. Yes. So does a halty. So yes. does any tool designed to help reduce pulling. Yeah. The, even down to the no pull harnesses that apply pressure, it cuts off the circulation to the shoulder. So any tool designed to stop pulling 
applies a certain level of discomfort. We don't get to decide what's most discomforting to the dog. Ultimately, no. the dog will decide that. If we go back to a pet corrector, for example, comp that. compressed air, yeah? yeah? Some dogs, the whole world will come to an end. Other dogs will walk through it like they're on stars in their eyes and yeah. they're coming out on the grand stage, right? So to one dog, this is highly aversive. To another dog, they couldn't give a monkeys about it. Yeah. And it's the same with training tools, yeah? Okay. But she's quite happy to hang herself in this collar, and that's what worries me long term. So I yeah. want something that's going to give me more control, apply a different sensation, and take some of that pressure off of her throat. Right. And that's where this comes in. So Hank's right there. Can you just keep Hank by your side but open that gate? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So look, she is much more responsive to yeah. that. Ah. Move forward a little bit with Hank. <laughs> ah, let's go. See you like there. Just interrupt, then give her, let's go. Yeah. yeah, and let's go. What I want to teach her is let's go means follow me. Wherever I go, let's go. I want her to start to follow. So it's just giving her some instructions in that moment in time of what's going on. Ah, let's go. So she's aware Hank's there. She's looking at Hank, but I'm disagreeing with it. Yeah. And then it's getting less and less. Ah, let's go. So you can hear that kind of displeasure in her voice. But she's also not lunging and kicking off. Yeah, no, much, much lower. And look, the towel's in the Pomeranian position <laughs> instead of being really low and everything like that. It's minimal. I'm still going to disagree with it because I don't, although it's much less than her going yeah. nuts, I still want her to learn. Hey, good girl. Yes, good girl. No, not through my legs. Not through the legs. Not through the legs. Ah, so just keep moving back and forth. Yep. Just kind of stay there for now. Let's go. No. Good girl. That was good. It was alright, wasn't it? Not seen this one yet. Do you oh. need another trainer? I've got availability in my schedule. <laughs> You're like, it, it, uh, no, have you seen your dog? Yeah, <laughs> it's that let's go command. Yeah. It's very, very useful. Uh, not giving her time to think, in a yeah. sense. So she sees a dog, she's held accountable for her action, <laughs> but making sure that if you say let's go, it's not I'm going to keep going that way, so I follow you. Almost yeah. we become magnetic, in a sense. Yeah. Walk towards Karen a little bit, and then just, let's go. As soon as the dog looks, let's go. Let's go. There's going to be some funky noises on this camera, Ben. <laughs> Adam, Let's go. When you go to toilet, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll stay there a second. Just stop. Nice. Celebrate. Good girl. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl. Yes, and just be are. careful with your affection because obviously... It, like that, it can turn very quickly. So one minute you're stroking her for the good choices she's making, yeah. but if she then goes to fixate on the dog and so. starts to get tense and you keep stroking her, you're now rewarding her for that behaviour. Yeah. So okay. it's very important to be mindful of what we're fussing. Yeah. So what we fuss at the end of that was her being really, really good. That's great. But then very quickly her fuss turned to yeah. that. Karen... Put your dog in, and as soon as she looks, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Good girl. So we've gone from full hog going batshit crazy to 
Oh. Which, yeah. at this stage, are class as a win. Absolutely. I think being able to be anywhere near other dogs is a win for Yeah, her. well, they're not even that far away, to be fair. No. She's she not... Her. She's not... Wait. Best thing for her would be street walking in areas with big pavements, in a sense, so okay. you can... Yeah. create space because space is good for her like if you're coming towards a dog let's go and then just creating that little bit of space has worked wonders for her yeah. right so using that let's go command and creating a bit of space and then you can continue moving so if you had like a quiet street or something and you walked down it and you saw a dog and you went let's go and then cross the road then went back okay you'd have way more success yeah she's also good to go to places where you're going to see dogs yeah yeah. But you can control the space in a sense. Yeah. Okay. So not a dog park because no, you can't no, no, control no. the space in a dog park. But going somewhere like a pets at home car park. Oh, okay. Where you can hang around at the distance, <laughs> you can see a dog. Let's go, and you can just have some fun with her. Or car parks of nature reserves or woodland areas where yeah. dogs should be on the lead. You don't have to enter. Yeah just in the area where you're going to see lots of dogs coming on going but you can control the space and that you can just get her exposure in those yeah. areas and things like that 